Happy Tuesday, everybody, and welcome to the new edition of the Bree Easy Show. That's right, you heard it here. It's a African <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But let's get into it. Where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl Bree Easy, aka Fresh for the Salon, um, BKA, the People's Champ. So we're just gonna hop right into it. So today, I want to talk to you. Did you guys watch the game last night between Clemson and LSU? Who were you pulling for? Who you thought was going to win? I mean, I know it's quite an upset. I'm from South Carolina. Went to uh, University of South Carolina. So I'm a true game. They got talker. blasted. But I was pulling for Clemson for the only reason that they're from South Carolina. Wait a minute. <laughs> now, as a person, as people that went to the University of South Carolina, we are contractually obligated to hate Clemson at all costs. I'm a cop. I'm a big cop. Big, big cop, cop. But... But right. it, it, it was for the simple reason that they, was from, that they are from South Carolina and I just wanted them to bring a championship. Tell the truth, your daddy a Clemson fan. My daddy's a Clemson fan, but they ain't got nothing to do with me, Cletus. I want them boys to bring those, those uh, I, I want Clemson to lose every game that they participate in ever. You ain't no true South Carolina fan. It, stop it. Stop it. We were revoking, we revoking your degree. You can't, oh my God. Okay, so anyway, so what did you guys think about the last uh the game last night? Who were you pulling for? So drop that down below in the comments. To the potman said hut! Well look at Dancy Bates. To the potman said hut, Natty Champs. Yes, sir. I mean you were you excited like you went to LSU, Jay? No, I just wanted Clemson to lose. Yeah. Contractually. But I got a lot of hate on my Facebook yesterday. Why? We because live in South Carolina. Why would we care if Clemson lost? Because I was pulling for Clemson and, and they were calling me a traitor. Well, you're so, not really a traitor. You're more just, like a Trader Joe's. Trader okay. Joe Burroughs. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah, we got to get both cameras operational. We're going to have them operational tomorrow anyway uh, with, the, with the new sport. Four score look. three years ago, you said that. But yeah. anyway, moving to the next topic. Congratulations are in order for Serena Williams. She won her first title since of 2017. Check this out. Bam. Ah! That's how she be yelling. Yeah. yeah! That's a nice four yes. straight down the line. <laughs> so congratulations to her uh six three six four win. Just congratulations. I know that was big for her. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was big for her. Proving that things only get better with time. Of course. Yes. Okay. Shut up! That was my shameless plug, you That's know. My shameless plug for you, okay. Okay. Okay, so last thing I have for you guys. So uh Congratulations to Shy Julius, Shy Julius Alexander. It's hard to say. It I know. is. It is. And you didn't even give me the opportunity to even try. But that's okay because he scored his first career triple double. He had a career high of 20 rebounds along with 10 assists and a 20 rebound triple double. A did 20 rebound game from a guard is outstanding. Yes. I felt bro. like I repeated that twice. I did. So let me start that back up. So points. he had 20 points, a career high of 20 rebounds along with 10 assists. Right. So. Hey, that's that rebounding wing, rebounding guard right there, bye. You know, back in the day when I never played basketball, I oh had rebounds out the wahoo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rebounds. I did. Yeah. Oh, that... Shut up, Jay. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys below. Uh, drop down below what you thought about the game last night. Y'all, you watching the video, if you like it, it takes nothing but a millisecond or a nanosecond just to hit that like button. That's it. Right there. Just, just hit it. For me, please. Anyway, I'm out. See you tomorrow. Love the shirt. Oh, yes. Y'all, work harder, shine brighter. Go get you a gym star shirt. There's so many colors to choose from, and it's great pricing. Go ahead and get you one. Get out my safe. Get out my safe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. Bree Easy shirking her responsibilities this morning. So we're going to begin it off with the beginning. We had um we, we had a poll. Our poll for today is who would you rather oh, tackle? I forgot about Who would that. you rather be forced to? Nah, nah, you ain't forget. Cap, Cap, you want your job back? Cap. Hey, who would you rather tackle? And, uh, oh, we good. We're doing good. Derrick Henry or Beast Mode? Damn it, I say Derrick Henry or Beast Mode. Honestly, now, I'm not trying to get smushed in the face by Beast Mode. Look, man, all I'm telling you is, hey, Tracy Porter figured it out, man. Hey, hey he said neither one of them, because, you know, he coming through there and get up out to the pot, man, say, hot, get up off me. 
What you doing? What you doing? Little boy! Woo! Get your bitch ass up off of me! Don't you ever try to tackle me! Beast mode! I'm telling you, boy. Hey, look, man. Both of them are masters of the straight arm. Look at this right here. Sean Lee ain't no bitch. So it is what it is. And I can't tell who he who he's uh stiff arming right here. But they masters of the stiff arm, man. Who would you rather a hey, locked in a phone booth gun to your head? Who would you rather have to tackle? Would you rather have to would you rather tackle Beast Mode or would you rather tackle uh Derrick Henry? I ain't trying to tackle neither one of them. Business decisions will be made all over uh, you know, all over the court and all that good stuff, man. But anyway, we're gonna get right into what we gotta get into, man. Hey, check it out, man. NBA scores from last night. Let's just go through those real quick. Appreciate everybody coming through showing some love, man. The Pelicans defeat the Pistons. The Pistons, uh, yeah, D-Rose showing flashes of old D-Rose, man. 23 points, four rebounds, eight assists, and Jaleel Lokafer in the victory, 25 points, 14 rebounds, and five assists. If they can, if the Pelicans, the Pelicans have a really good young nucleus, if they can continue to do what they're, um, you know, do what they're doing and, and, and match up, and if Zion comes back and gives them anything at all, they can be tough. But the GOAT got the, we gotta figure out what to do with the GOAT. Oh yeah, work hard to shine bright at Gemstar. Anyway, we might need to come up with a different design Y'all got a desire that we can use, y'all let us know, man. But uh check it out. Pacers over the 76ers. Um they they really struggling without uh without um Joel Embiid, man. But Ben Simmons, 24 points, 14 rebounds, and three assists. He does need to be more assertive, but you know, it is what it is. And uh what's that? Is that Malcolm Brogdon? I think that's how you say his name. I want to say that's how you say his name. Yeah, Malcolm Brogdon with uh, 21 points, seven, seven rebounds, and nine assists. He almost had a triple-double in his own right as the Pacers over the 76ers, 101-95. to The Bulls lose to the Celtics last night. Rack Levine with 30 points, five rebounds, and two assists in a losing effort as Jason Tatum, a.k.a. Stretch, take the victory along with the Celtics, 21 points, six rebounds, and two assists. Not a whole lot of games last night. We already talked about Shai Gilles, Gilles, Gilles Alexander, uh, with, with the 20 point, 20 rebound, triple double, the real rebounding guard in the league. That's why they're becoming so popular. Because as T. Mizzle said, that rebounding wing, that, that, that position is dead. You're just not fast enough to guard the ball. But anyway, uh, as the Thunder over the Minnesota Timberwolves, 117 to 104. Uh, Dino Gallinari, 30 points, four rebounds, and one assist. And uh, yo, who is this Reed kid? I don't know. I never seen him before. He had 20, rebound, uh, 20 points, one rebound, and assist. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna click on it. Nas Reed? Never heard of him. Hey, y'all give me the background on him if you have, man. Maybe I'm just tripping. The Hornets lose to the Trailblazers, uh, 115 to 112. Graham with 27 points, three rebounds, and 10 assists. And then you had, hey, D. Lilla. It was it's D. Lilla time, man. 30 points, three rebounds, and nine assists in the winning effort. The Magic adds out De'Aaron Fox and the uh, Kings, man. Did De'Aaron Fox even play? I don't know. I don't even know how to say this. Uh, Jalika, um, 34.7 rebounds and two assists. And Nikolai Vucevic with 26 points, 15 rebounds. Woo! Vuce hooping and two assists in a winning effort as the Magic edge out the King. And last but not least, the Cavaliers with the with the King returning home. Well, the, the home coming to the King. Uh, Kevin Love, 21 points, 11 rebounds, three assists, and 31 points. Hey, the GOAT, LeBron, GOAT James, with 31 points, two rebounds, and eight assists as the Lakers rout the Cavaliers, 128-128. To 99, man. These have been your morning scores. Your guys, uh, you know, hey, do yourself accordingly. Now to 2K News. What we is? We eight minutes in. Boy, we doing great, man. Hey, look at this, man. Hey, Chico Filo is legend. Chico Filo was already a legend in most of our eyes because he played with Ty C. Look at ooh, look at the guns, damn it. Anyway, Chico Filo was already a legend in most of our eyes because he played with Tyson and put on one of the most epic, epic, um, wager series is ever. Chico Filo made the series. If you think Chico made the series, man, let me know down in the comments. But look, though, I made it to Elite, and uh, he said, hey, huge thank you to everyone that came through. Uh, we cleared the whole park. I love y'all, man. Hey, this is one, one thing I tell y'all. I know y'all like Elite ain't nothing, man, and you're right. But Chico Filo gets so... This is, what I'm this is what I tell you. This is what happens when you maximize your opportunity. Dog, like this is what happens. You get the spotlight, and this is what Tysino was talking about. You get the spotlight, you have the spotlight for a second. You have a small amount of time to, to make yourself, you, you have a small amount of time when you're relevant to make yourself relevant 
and to maximize this. Chico Filo has 39,000 subs. Every video he's putting out is exceeding his sub count damn near. This is what we are talking about. Obviously, the new best jump shot, nobody was gonna look at that because he had smoked so many of them joints, uh, you know, while, uh, while he was playing with Tassino, so he could never really put out a jump shot video. But <laughs> I'm joking, man. Hey, look, it is what it is, man. This is what happens when you maximize your your um your fame, your your push. You everybody's gonna have a time like this on YouTube. You have to maximize it. And that's all I'm saying. So Chico Filo is getting so much love, man. He's a likable character. I said it from the jump. The dude is a likable guy. He's he's cool as hell. And uh, you know, he just liked to play the game in Tacino. He gave him that, he gave him that that platform and boom that's what happened but hey it is what it is another thing for you guys man hey look man we got the thunder cards man we got the we got uh kd and russell westbrook added to the all-time thunder team man i really might start playing my team man but look all-time thunder rating 97 all-time thunder rating 95 kd i mean uh kendrick perkins said that um said that russell westbrook let me see. In about 30 minutes, I'm going to give I'm going to give my opinion on Sports Center why I believe Russell Westbrook is the best player to have ever put on the the Oklahoma City Thunder jersey. He is Mr. Thunder. Yes, he's Mr. Thunder. But I think you got one word wrong, uh, uh, Kendrick. Um, he's the greatest to ever put on that jersey, I guess. But when you're talking about best. You know, now you talk about Oklahoma City Thunder jersey, so you can't talk about Ray Allen, we can't talk about Sean Kemp, we can't talk about GP, we can't talk about Hershey Hawkins, we can't talk about Nate McMillan, we can't talk about Detlef Shrimp, we can't talk about Dale Ellis, you know, guys like this, we can't talk about the big smooth Sam Perkins, we can't talk about any of those guys. Not saying that they better than these guys. Damn, I just rattled off a bold bunch of super of Seattle Super Sonics just like that, didn't I? But my old head knowledge is, is second to none. But we can't talk about any of those guys. We can only talk about the people that started. These guys started the franchise, and as far as a lot of people are concerned, this is where the franchise ends. But Russell Westbrook is 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 where he is, Mr. Oklahoma City Thunder. He's the greatest player to have ever donned that uniform. But he's not better than KD. So. To me, the best and the greatest, they're not always the same. You got a rare occasion where people would say like Mike was the best and he was the greatest, but you that's, that's very rare. Like, uh, let's look at it like this. Jerry Rice was the greatest wide receiver of all time. Some people say he's the best He's the best football player of all time, right? He was better at his position than anybody else, but Randy Moss was better than Jerry Rice. T.O. was better than Jerry Rice. I don't think there's any question that these guys were more physically gifted, talented, and they could just put up numbers that are better clip than Jerry Rice. But Jerry Rice, the greatest to ever do it. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, they were more physically gifted, so they were better. But, like, I mean, come on, man. You telling me, you tell it, look, Tom Brady, uh, Randy Moss went and played with a generational quarterback for a couple of years and set all the records in the NFL. I don't think we need to say anything more than that. Tom Brady threw 51 touchdowns this season. They went to the finals and lost, and I loved every second of it. But, you know, it is what it is. So, to me, there's a delineation between the best and the greatest sometimes. Every now and then, you'll get Mike, a Mike where people universally agree for a while that he's the best and the greatest, but now we're going to go James on that, man. A lot of people are, so it is what it is. So, that's what that. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think. Who's the best to ever, the, is he the best player or is he just the greatest to ever done that or he did the most great things doing that? Up next, speaking of GOAT, James. Hey, LeBron James passes Isaiah Thomas, uh, you know, with the uh, in, in all-time assists. So we got the LeBron James, look at this, passing vision, 98. Isaiah Thomas, 97. But look, though, I'm tired of Zeke getting disrespected. I'm going to talk about this real quick and we're going to move on. I'm tired of Zeke getting disrespected when it come up in these all-time greatest point guard uh, talks. Zeke was a dog. And ain't nobody can stay in front of him. He was barely six feet tall. Zeke was a dog. He was a leader. He was a, a, a pretty decent defender. But, bro, for his size to be going in there and just getting buckets like he was, man, come on, man. Zeke was a dog. Like, he's like Rayshon Rondo with more skill athletically and more ability to score. That's what Zeke was. I'm tired of Zeke getting disrespected in these joints, man. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Hey, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Was Zeke a dog or not? Let me know. Put that Zeke was a dog in the comment section if even you know if you want to. And last but not least, man, we got a couple of uh joints here, man. Um, I want to talk about these joints from Reddit, the best jump shot for catch and shoot situations. I'm tired of giving disrespect to the YouTuber. Because I'm a well re I'm a well-rounded wing, and I got a 74.3. Look, man, I'm putting out the best jump shots every week for y'all, man. 
I don't understand why people don't watch my videos. Like I said, my videos are for people that are not good at the game to try to get better. But I think that most people are confused. Like I said, it's for, it's for your homeboys that ain't really good at the game to learn how to get better. So you can shoot, you can direct them here. But I think a lot of people are confused about which homeboy that they are. And nobody believes that they the homeboy that's not really good at the game. Everybody feel like they're the one that is. This is what I'm saying, man. If you watch my videos, my boy, you know, uh, you know, he said you gotta realize it don't matter your position. You are and can be good with any of them. But 98 is go 98 is to go to for a lot of people. And the one I recommend, uh, the one I recommend to anyone. You know, gold quick draw. I if silver quick draw bronze use base 38. Whatever, man. That's some 2K labs regurgitated crap. Look at Jay Easy videos. That's what he should be saying. And last but not least, this one dude right here, this poor soul, man. I can't hit. I can't hit shots. He says I can't hit shots. This is the crazy thing about 2K, and I don't understand this. I have a 99, a 95 mid range and three pointer. I have 30 shooting badges. This is what I be saying. I shoot over 60% with my 70 shot with my three, and I still be trying to find ways to make it better. And he said, this is what he using. Hall of Fame dead eye, catch and shoot, volume shooter, steady shooter, range extender, uh, quick draw, uh, quick draw, you know, goal, he got hot zone hunter, defensive, uh, then difficult shots. And I still miss wide open shots constantly. This is not a badge problem, guys, it's a you problem. I'm just gonna be real, you, you trash. Um, let me see, I've tried many jump shots before and none of them seem to work, please help. To be honest, man, I'm not gonna lie to you, you're not trash. You shouldn't be missing this many shots, but especially with a 95 open three and 30 badges, the problem is practice. We're talking about practice. Practice. You gotta go to the gym, you gotta practice. You have to go and look and see every anime, every time you touch the basketball in this game, it is different. One dude say turn steady shooter off, but we already know if you turn steady shooter to Hall of Fame, then it doesn't you don't take a big penalty for being open you need to turn off the shot meter and then you need to go and practice 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 every time you catch the ball every location on the court every time your guy raises up and stuff like that you have to be cognizant of of how fast he's happening and then that way you'll know how fast he's gonna shoot it the high but see you got one of those shots you got a 95 so it's super fast no matter what so it, it's gonna be the same speed for you damn near every time you just need to practice you need to go Keep, go, go to the gym, go to your gym, get on that ball machine and practice. I know that there's some type of badge of honor in the 2K community, like, well, I don't have to practice, I'm just naturally good, but bro, that's BS. Everybody that's good at this game right now practices tirelessly in their my court. You think T. Mizzle was hitting faders and he hits all the shots? He, I asked, asked T, T, what you doing? I'm in my court. Every time I hit him up, if he's not playing the game, he's in my court and he's sitting there practicing. You can't get good at something by not doing it. That's just it. And then one person says, you know, maybe you just don't have a good jump shot. And that could be the case, but I just think you need to practice, my guy. And uh, you need to watch some Jay Easy videos and find yourself uh, some good uh, jump shots. Anyway, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Make sure y'all subscribe uh, for more daily 2K content. Like the video if you like the video. And make sure you answer this question down below. Who would you rather tackle? Derrick Henry? We got the dreadlock lords now. This is dreadlock. See, this is the dreadlock lord and say this is the dreadlock god. But this is this is his daddy right here. You know, what I'm talking about dreadlock god and dreadlock Jesus right here. All bow to Hal Ronicles 33. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all gotta watch Chisel the Donuts for that, man. But Chisel the Donuts did a hilarious video. Oh, Henry, y'all gotta watch this, man. The dreadlock lord and savior. But hey, the dreadlock god came back. For one side, who you rather tackle, man? You rather tackle doggone Derrick Henry or Marshawn Lynch? Damn it, I say Derrick Henry or Marshawn Lynch, man. I don't want to tackle no version of Beast Mode, man. Neither one. I'm putting neither one down there if you don't want to tackle neither one, man. And uh, I'm out of here, man. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed!